Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This one's going to be different. It's not a tutorial, but rather something I want to give to you guys, which is just a free verse device that's useful for a loadout selection screen. So you can see here, I can press this and I'm going to get my loadout just like that. So in this video, I'm just going to show you guys how this is set up and how you guys can use it in your own projects. So the first thing you need to do is go into the description of this video. And then in there, I have linked the GitHub to the actual source code here. And this is what it looks like. You're going to see here, it's the loadout vote selection device. So all you need to do here is either just control A to select all and copy, or you can go here to where it says copy raw file. That's going to copy all of this. So once you have done that, what we need to do here is now we need to create a new verse file. So just go up here to where it says verse and click on verse explorer. And then here you want to select where it says uh, this top box looking thing. So you want to right click and then add a new verse file to project. So name this loadout selection vote device or something like that. And then here you want to make sure you want to create empty because we don't, we're not going to be needing any of this. So just click on create empty, wait for that to create. And then we can just double click on this to open up visual studio code. All right. So once in here, you can see there's just this comment here. So we just want to get rid of this and then just control V to paste that in. So we have that set up here and now all we need to do here is just go back into our UEFN here and we're going to go up here to where it says verse and then build verse code. Now you want to open up your content browser. And you want to locate the folder that says creative devices. So you want to click on here and then just grab your loadout vote selection device. So I'm just going to drag that out there. And this is our actual device. So I have a couple of settings here. We're going to go over them uh, real quick. So the first one is the start trigger. This is a trigger that when triggered will start the voting process. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into my Fortnite devices and then look for a trigger device. Just drag that out there. And then I'm just going to set this to my trigger like that. So the reason I made it a trigger is because if you look at here in the trigger, there's this um, trigger function here. So what you could do here is you could have something like a player counter. And then when that reaches the amount of players, then you, you can call the trigger on this, which will automatically start this. So it kind of acts as a proxy, as a middleman. So the next settings are the number of columns. So the way this works is if the number of loadouts is more than the number of columns, what's going to happen is it's going to create a new row to put in those extra loadouts that wouldn't fit. And what's cool is that your UI pictures will resize based on the amount of columns provided here. So here I'm just going to set it to three for now, because that's how many loadouts I want. Here we also have the voting time, which you can change. Uh, I've set it from 10 to 30 or from three to 30. Here we have the most important thing, which are the actual loadouts themselves. So you can see that here, this is an array, which means that we can add an element. And if we expand this, you, you see here, simply all we need for a loadout is the item grantor and then the name of the loadout. So I'm going to call this something like OG pump, OG pump. And then I have my pump item grantor here. So I have a couple of item grantors here and these will just grant the, you know, your AR, your pump, your standard box fight loot. So that's that. And then I want to, if I want to add another loadout, then I'm just going to add a new element, expand this, but that's pretty setting loadouts. You can see I've set three loadouts so far. So that's all well and done. And then lastly, we have our UI settings. So if you saw at the beginning of, of the video there, um, the loadouts are sort of separated by little card thingies. So I made it so that you can customize this. So firstly, we have the background color of the actual card. Now, if you don't have an image to use, this is what's going to be displayed. So you can change the background color um, and you can just click on here and then use the color wheel or whatever like that. Right. And then I also have this use border thing. If you want to use the border and we also have the actual border color and then we have the timer text color as well as the timer text shadow color, which is sort of the outline of your text here. And then same for the actual individual loadouts, their text color, and then their shadow color. You can just play around with that to see what works best for you. So that's pretty much it for here, but you'll notice that nowhere in here have I specified what sort of image you can use, but you probably want to use an image. So the first thing you need to do is you want to go into UEFN here and you want to open up your content browser. And in here, I'm going to create a new folder 
And here I'm going to store all my images. So I'm going to call it something like UI textures. You don't need to call it this, but just call it something that's memorable to you because you're going to need to know the name of this folder later on. So I have UI textures here and I'm going to open up this in here. Okay, so I went into this website called Beyond Fortnite GG Assets. And in here in the weapon renders, I just downloaded the this pump shotgun image, uh, which I've saved. And I have here the, it's called Sharp Tooth Shotgun. I'm going to just rename it to Pump Shotgun like that. And then all you need to do here is I'm in my UI textures folder. So I'm just going to drag this in and that's going to import that. And you, can see you can go in here you can see it's a PNG, so it's going to be transparent. I'm just going to save that and then close that. And then here you just want to click save all just to make sure that. So now to actually make your image display, you need to go up here to verse again and then build verse code. And what you need to do is you need to click on this verse explorer to open up the verse file. The thing you do want to look at is in line 40 ish, I have this textures array and in here, you're going to put the path to whatever images you want. Now notice here that that this is going to be displayed in the order that you put your images in. So for example, I have my first loadout is the OG pump. So I will put the OG pump image first, then the mythic havoc and then the havoc. So that's the order that you would put them in. So how do we actually put a picture in here? Well, remember how we created our our UI textures folder? Well, if we look at verse here in the in the left corner here, you scroll down You'll notice there's this verse assets folder, this assets.digest folder. So you want to click on this. You're going to notice that I have here my UI textures. That's the name of my folder. And inside of here, we have our pump shotgun image. And then if you imported more images inside of this folder, they would show up in here below this UI textures. So to use this, I'm just going to copy this or just type in the name of your folder. And then you want to go back into your loadout selection device. And in here, what you need to do is you need to delete this. And you want to make sure that you've tabbed inside of this array. You need to make sure that this is tabbed and not outside here. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So tab this and that's going to put this inside of the textures array. So I have my UI textures and it's called pump shotgun. So that's how you put a image texture here. All you have to do is type in the name of the folder followed by a dot and then followed by the name of your actual uh, image thing here. So I'm going to add another one here and it's going to be the same OG um, uh, pump shotgun like that. And then this is just a comment. So you don't need to worry about this. You can delete it if you want. I'm just going to get rid of that. And as you can see here, I've inserted two images into my textures array and the code will automatically sample these images and use them again in the order that they appear in this array. And that's pretty much it. Now all you need to do is just build verse code. All right, so I'm in my game now, and when we go in here, we can see when we trigger this, you can see we get the pop-up of our selection. So you can see here, because I've included the two images here, they show up, but because this uh, doesn't have the image, it's just the blank background color here. So we can select, for example, this one, and we should get the OG pump, like you can see here, because obviously I'm the only one here. You'll notice we also have the timer up here, so when this ends, then automatically we'll just be given a random one because there is no timer here, but I'm going to select uh, mythic havoc and we should get the mythic havoc if I've set up my item grinders correctly. Anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. And as always, I hope this was helpful and yeah.